Hi, this is Ed back again with another video. Hope you're all doing well, all my patrons out there. Thank you so much for your support uh, on my channel. Of course, I have uh, go through those comments at the end of the video. For this video, what I've got is something really weird. It's called Star Holes. What are star holes? Well, I'm on a website called relicsoftheancients.com and I'll put a link to this in the comment section. These have been documented by numerous different people and involve these strange holes found in rock. Not only that, but the most weirdest thing is they're found all around the world. That is, uh, in a number of different locations. So, Relic of the Ancient sums it best up like this. Many star holes are curved with rotating lobes. There are no drilling tools or techniques known to us today that can create these holes. Star holes are not the byproduct of drilling accidents. Star holes are continuous in their structure. Nothing looks broken inside of these holes. Have a look. And they've got a video which we'll take a look at. Well, I just disagree with one little thing there today, them stating that they couldn't do this today. They could do this today. Uh, they would just need uh, you know, a number of different drill holes in order to achieve it. The real question is why are the ancients doing it and why were they doing it in so, di so many different types of you know, different continents, for example? It's very weird. Um, Unless there's one thing, and you would have to flash back to some kind of advanced civilization, maybe taking some kind of strange rock or core samples, who really knows. Let's take a look at a video here. I'll just be back. So here's a video of a star hole, is linked to on that site, and let's just uh, go through it here. So as they go through the star hole, you can see it kind of looks a bit weird. As you can see there, okay, it's got this kind of weird shape to it. Uh, and then you come out the other side. So that's pretty much a star hole, and now they're going backwards. I'll just slow it down while I talk for a second, because I do have... Uh, slow it down to about half speed. I just want to point out something. When, you know, there's claims made that they couldn't create this today, they could create it today, and I'll show you how. First of all, you could do it with a number of drilling techniques. First you could drill a hole here, then you could drill a hole here with a very, very long drill, then you could drill a hole here, and then you could drill a hole here, and then you could drill a hole here, and then you could just knock out the middle and sand it down. Okay, That's how you could do it today. Obviously it's possible to do it today, but sometimes sites makes, makes claims. I'm not too critical of them, I think it's a great site, but I think that's a claim that Really, when you examine it, uh, you could actually recreate it today. I've worked with stone in the past. I had a job where he had to saw stone with a, a saw stone with a stone saw. So I've worked quite a bit with it. Um, so I know different types of stones and things like that. But you could do this today if you had expensive drilling equipment. And I read serious drilling equipment. Okay. You know, some kind of big hydraulic drilling equipment. You could totally do it. Uh, but you would need modern day machinery. Uh, how they would have done this in the past would less say if we give them the benefit of the doubt and say copper tools or something. Or I don't, I don't know how that would be possible. Considering that metal back in the days, in the ancient times, was not as metal as it is now. You know, you can look at reference to samurai swords, for example, which broke all the time to folded steel of a knight, you know, and a knight's sword, classically, that could bend and fold. I mean, there is an evolution to metalwork, just like there's an evolution in, in cities as well. So you have to come to wonder if this is done in the ancient, ancient past, what it looks like it was done then. Of course, if we're coming from that perspective, then you have to wonder, what did they use? Unless aliens came down and done it, and they were collecting some kind of rock samples, which would be unusual. I'm an 80% believer in UFOs and aliens. I don't know if they're real. Okay, so they sum it up here, and I've already gone through that. Characteristics of star holes. Holes have been found in various shapes, from triangles, squares, shaped uh, tipped stars to round holes with lobes. Star holes, a hole, or lobe number size height can vary from hole to hole. Lobes may uniformly rotate. Holes may curve smooth, smoothly. 
lobes may uniformly rotate, etc., etc., etc. Whole walls are sometimes vitrified. Now, that's interesting, right? Because that is a characteristic which was talked about on the channel before. It seems like there's some kind of heat in, in regards to it. Whole walls are usually textured. Textured is a sign of some kind of uh, drilling equipment. Okay, so let's have a look at some pictures here. Here is one just of newspapers, really just to I try to get a blow up here. I'll be back in uh, one second. So there's a blow up of some newspapers just for reference to show that they have appeared in numerous different uh, newspapers here. Uh, star holes themselves have been found. Let's just go to the next one here. So here's an example of more star holes. Some of these star holes go, you know, literally feet into the stone. So you would need a serious drill bit in order to achieve that. Uh, so this obviously this could not be drilled out with stone tools okay you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to make this uniform pattern with just normal stone tools or something in the ancient past it would have to be some kind of metal or metal tool or something like that or diamond tool or whatever but here you have these here here's just some examples then we're going to go through all the locations you find them here's another one strange kind of a hole like that you can see there's some kind of moss over top of it, rock moss. Example, this is one of the locations of where they found one. Very ancient uh, uh, holes. Here it is here. This is from the drilling site. You can see there, I believe. You can see that there. And there you have uh, a star hole. And there you have another star hole. So why are they in these kinds of things? I personally think... I would look at these and I would think to myself that perhaps they're a construction mechanism. I don't know how they're created, but my opinion is ancient ancient civilization had more sophisticated tools than we know about. Uh, but if you put uh, you know a piece of wood in there or a piece of metal in there, you could use it as a brace in order to put another rock on it, another object on it, perhaps. But that kind of is the only thing I can think of. It doesn't really make much sense considering that most of these are just carved into random holes on rocks. So they're not part of, you don't find them like just as part of a quarry, just in a quarry somewhere. Otherwise that would probably be a conclusion I found around the world and just really in rocks themselves. And here's another one. It goes down quite deep there. Another one, and look how perfectly they're created. It would actually be difficult to create this one with just straight drilling equipment, but it possibly could be done. Today, of course. Did the ancients have the sophisticated drilling equipment we do? Looks like some kind of Chinese coin there. You can see here's another one. I think that's the same photo we've seen from a different angle. Another one, for example. Another one. And another one right in the rock. That one looks like an angulated one that would go down in that direction there. There's one that's got some mud in it. And um, here is another one. Mike Lopez pointing to hand-drilled irregular-sized holes in granite. You probably can't see all that. My screen recorder's not catching it all. But this is located in Miami Beach, in a Miami Beach jetty. The holes are not modern, uh, the holes are not modern uh, granite quarrying holes, which are machine drilled and uniformed, but seem to be some kind of hand drilled holes. Okay, so let's go back to the website itself. So as you can see, they're all around here. Here's some in Oregon. You can see all the star holes there in Oregon themselves, different locations. Let's have a look at a couple of different pictures. So here's some pictures of them from the website. As you can see, there's some holes there. Seems that hole there goes right through and comes out the other side, as denoted by that line there. Uh, here is uh, just the length of, I guess, one hole. Here is another hole itself, and you can see sort of like a, uh, a spiraling pattern down there, which kind of looks like some kind of drill. And uh, it's interesting. I don't know really where they come from. Here's another one seems to be located over there. 
Very unusual. It's another one. And that one looks like, I can't read that in feet, but it looks like four, might be four uh, meters, maybe, perhaps. I'm not sure how long that measuring tape is, or 41, 41 centimeters, probably, I guess. Yes, it's probably about 41 centimeters, sorry, 41 meters is probably a bit off the mark there. You can see some more here, uh, rock drill holes. No, I have no idea. Um, of course, shout out to the photographer here. Um, who is the photographer? Uh, Richard Tierman. Okay, uh, Richard Tierman. Um, so here is some more. As you can see here, very weird. Let's take a look at this one here. Okay. Here's some other ones, as you can see on screen. Very unusual. These are from, uh, this one looks like Monsoon. Is that Massachusetts? I'm not sure. Uh, Flint Quarry must be, of course, if it's Flint Quarry. Uh, here we have another one in Massachusetts. Uh, here we have some in Devon, UK. And as you can see, even in Devon, UK, if we just jump over there, they are star holes. And of course, the UK is a great distance away from the United States in Flint, Michigan there, released in Flint Quarry. Um, here is some in Volder. I'm not sure uh, if they, well, they look much more precise there in Volder. This is in Norway in 2017, 7, 2007, sorry. And of course, those are the subsequent, I guess, Norwegian newspapers that we were looking at. And you can see them right there. And they're similar to the one in the UK. What is going on? That's kind of weird, I think, because they're such a distance apart and they're just drilled into the rock. Very unusual. It's a great mystery is what it is. Uh, this is one of the greatest mysteries as to why the star holes are like drilled into so many uh, different types of rocks like this. And, and of course, such a distance apart. And you can see that we've gone over I had a look at most of those pictures themselves. Here's one from Zion National Park. Okay, Zion National Park. Where is Zion located? Hold on, I'll be back a second. So Zion National Park is in Utah. So again, it's quite even quite a distance. I mean, the United States is massive, uh, so that's kind of a distance there from um, you know Massachusetts. Here is the actual picture itself. Again, a star hole perfect star hole there very very unusual and quite the distance away from of course the other places uh, here's Richard Wingate this clip is from an old TV special new evidence in the Bahamas I think this is the Benini Road or something like that the late uh, great Richard Wingate explains the evidence he found in the Bahamas the photo from his book Atlantis in the Amazon so from an old TV show there and at least we, we've already looked at that one there so let's take a look at this I'll be back one second so here we are on the video itself and you can see old old pictures probably from the 70s or something this is from uh, of these uh, star holes themselves found in the Bahamas I guess this is submerged at one stage I'm making out some kind of figure here okay here's another really good example of what I call prehistoric engineering we're looking at one of thousands of five-point star drill holes that, that are drilled all the way through solid rock. This particular one is filled with sand, but I have other samples where you, other photos and slides where you can see the, the borehole drill all the way through, in one case, a 12-foot long block of stone, but most peculiar, the borehole curves and twists inside the stone. We can't... Now that is interesting because that is something we cannot do inside the stone we can't do that today with modern we're making out some kind of yeah it cuts out there but you can't do that with modern engineering if it turns to the side or perhaps you could do it with it would have to be it'd have to be an extre extremely sophisticated drill bit something that's like some kind of twister uh, can the drill bit can bend something like you know some kind of weird you know, like a like rubber, but very hard. You know, and they could bend, and then had your blades on the outside, so to speak. It, it is possible, but I mean, you know, you're dealing with some sophisticated drilling there. By the way, I've drilled numerous different holes and pretty much everything from metal to stone 
to to everything so I am familiar with drilling let me just uh, turn off my heater <laughs> okay I've turned it off so so isn't that unusual okay isn't this weird it's like it's you know I don't look okay I'm just saying that in my opinion there's many mysteries to the world that are hidden from us in books I think that the museums don't tell us about something sometimes maybe because they don't know what it is legitimately but also maybe because they want to justify their own kind of you know own kind of hierarchy there in the museum so they kind of just go to you know mainstream doctrine about what's possible and what's not and I'm not saying there's some kind of conspiracy well, I actually personally believe there's a conspiracy, but, uh, you know, trying to be somewhat normal here, <laughs> you know, I think that that, you know, that is one thing that could possibly happen is just these hierarchies kind of things. Here are some other photos here. Let me just uh, move this screen recorder down a minute so you can see those and you can see some more pictures there. Um, so very interesting. Uh, you know, it's um, it's weird. It's a weird case of star holes and things like that. Um, very weird. I'll put a link to this uh, website, which is really great. It's called Relics of the Gods in the comment section. So you can go check it out and read all about these types of things, or at least these star holes here, um, which are really interesting. Okay, so what do you think about it? Let me know, of course, in the comment section, a patron. And we'll have a look at those next week. Let's go over to Patreon and take a look at the comments. So we've got some comments here on Patreon. I'll just read these out. So this is from the last video, uh, which I done on the uh, Gornaya Shoria megaliths there in Russia. Very fascinating there. I mean, if those are real and legitimately stone blocks and not some kind of like thing that happens through cracking or something through the ages then that means that there are some ancient civilizations up there uh, loving the historical videos Ed been watching a bit of Gray and Hancock recently even though I keep an open mind it is all very interesting and much different from what I was taught in school interestingly when I was choosing subjects in high school there was either the history stream or the geography stream and I insisted that I wanted both. Now I know why they wanted to compartmentalize these because when you study both it is harder for them to sell the lies each dream has embedded in their systems. I also wanted to study art, music and science. How dare I? I am naturally curious and love hearing about new information but I know nothing. I know nothing as well. <laughs> but I tell you it's the interesting thing, uh, you know, someone's been to university, done different courses, they split it up, don't they? They split, it, they split apart the sociology department and the psychology department as well. Uh, and they both seem similar to me. Um, although sociology deals with people. Uh, thank you for that, Beck. I dream I was genie. Thanks for this very interesting stuff. The more you know. Thank you, I dream of genie. Tina J. Thanks, Ed. Enjoy your day off. This was the other day, of course. I did enjoy my day off. Thank you, Tina. Did you see the video of Uma hugging Lindsey Graham at McCain's funeral? It was very interesting to see the stare down they got. I call it a death hug. <laughs> well, I'll have to check that out straight after this. As a matter of fact, I'll do a Google. I'll check that one out. That, um, look, that whole entire thing to me, and I don't... Yeah, I know it's more about, you know, I don't mean to kind of, because we could try, I try to get away from what I usually do here. But uh, just to comment on this very briefly, to me it just looked like some kind of, it just, it looks like a TV show that it's all just a put on, you know. Um, it just, this doesn't seem like any honesty or any real emotions or anything. Um, you know, it just seems like they're all pretending to play a role, which I think is probably what happened there. 
Katie here saying it was nice to fall asleep listening to the comment section. Well, thank you, Katie. I'm glad I helped out. <laughs> Look, I fall asleep to stuff all the time. So if I help you sleep, then that could only be a good thing. Still bearing hand here. Thanks, Ed. I never gave this type of thing uh, much thought ancient civilizations until i discovered jimmy's channel a year ago yeah bright insight really liked that channel myself led me down the rabbit hole i always assumed that what i was taught in public school was the truth lols for instance there was no way in hell that humans in the bronze age constructed the pyramids in egypt or south america imagine what it would take today to build uh, a Giza type pyramid with modern technology but ancient Egyptians did it with hand tools and slaves lol love these videos thank you still beer in hand and thank you everyone for your support of course spider pond straight lines can occur in certain types of stone for example quartz and their famous smooth sided crystals and it's also seen in larger scale in stones like basalt a volcanic rock that is known for forming large columns with straight sides i believe i have seen that before there are some ancient islands in indonesia that have constructions made with columns or um, columnar basalt and it kind of looks like some kind of petrified log cabin wow really really interesting there uh marty mark scully hey ed i still like your stuff but how many youtube channels are there that just read other people's stuff and comment if in millions and you are just another one of these these days so do some more out of dark videos please be different from the pack and you are becoming more and more like the other channels well i always uh, take criticism think about the out of, out of dark channel i'm not sure i'm going to make any out of dark videos uh very soon i did fix my editing software so i intend on if i was going to do anything these days i'd start up a mystery channel okay i'll start up something like bright insight that's what i would do i just I'd start another channel and just do hardcore edited uh videos on strange topics because i don't want to go back to the out of dark i don't want to like um you know the whole dutch banker and all these kinds i went as far as i could you know i could really i could go um you know you have limits i need to sleep at night yeah <laughs> i need a i need, need to have a normal life i you know i've you know i've done a lot of those videos and people are aware of the subject now which i covered so they can go out and do their own research but I might start another channel. So it might be seeing another channel soon, Mark Scully. So thank you so much, uh, everyone, for your comments. Um, thank you so much for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video on star holes. These weird star holes that are everywhere. In the meantime, go out and do your own research course. Decide for yourselves. You might not believe me. <laughs> Hey, you know what? That's what you've got to do. Go out and take a look. But you know what? Thank you for your support and I appreciate it. I have another patron video day after tomorrow. In the meantime, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all later.